Hey everyone, um, for those of you who have been following me up until now, I recently did a video um, on the things that an indie creator should not say in their pitch slash presentation. And my main key points were, again, you don't want to compare yourself to anyone else, any other creator, you don't want to compare your characters to any other characters, and you don't want to bad mouth anyone. Okay, all of those are just a, uh, it's a minefield that you just want to stay away from. But now, as promised, I'm doing the positive component, the things that you do want to say. Now, you have to remember that whoever you're presenting this to, whether it's a potential collaborator, a store owner, a an editor, or a customer directly, they know absolutely nothing about you or your work. So the guilt, the goal is to get them interested. So what you want to do, think of it. I've said this before, think of it as a job interview. Tell them enough to get them interested, but don't over explain and over expand to the point where they feel like they've already read it. So find a way to do a quick synopsis, a brief description that gives them just enough. Okay. Do tell them now if you're regardless of what genre of comic you're doing make sure they know that the most important things about your character you know, like we were told in school who what when where why you kind of want to use that as your guide and of course how who is your character what are they doing why are they doing it when are they doing it? Because a lot of these are set in various time periods. That's a point of interest. That's something that the reader will want to know going in. Where are they have where are they doing it? And to some extent, why? And you want it to be something that you can say in the space of two to three minutes. Because frankly, <laughs> That's a lot of people's attention span. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just stating the facts here. If <clears throat> you have basically that amount of time to win them or lose them. Now, for example, I'll I'll use my main characters, for example. Um, if asked to describe Night Shadow, I will simply state that he has all his life had everything that he needs to be a superhero except the will. He's been evading his calling and recent events have made him feel like he's being karmically punished for not doing his job. Now he's playing catch up. Short, sweet, to the point. Now, if I'm asked about his abilities, I'll elaborate to an extent. If I'm talking about divinity, I will say that she wields the power that was used when the Archangel Michael's sword was forged. It was encapsulated in the vessel, which was lost on Earth. She recently absorbed it, and now she's caught in the middle between good and evil. Short, sweet, to the point. And you see, I didn't liken either of them to any other creations. I didn't compare myself to anyone else in the business. That's just, you want to be professional. You have to also remember that you are your own commercial. It's something that I had to work on, something I had to learn how to do to get my point out, get it across, and keep it moving. Like I said, if you say too much, you can lose them because they'll feel like They've already read it. There's no need to. It's like what some people say about movie trailers. 
and if you don't say enough, then you're saying that I don't know how to sell myself, which is the main point of these last two videos is being able to sell yourself. Practice if need be, write it down if need be, do whatever you have to do to get comfortable speaking about your creation because that's every bit as vital as actually creating it. Till next time.